thanks for viewing my youtube video as you can see this is the before and after picture of the unit that i'll be installing today and i got this unit from wyatt's wigs so let's get right into the video this is my routine to where i always wash my wigs before i say for instance put anything on it i'm detangling it now with my detangle brush and the wig is wet <laughs> and as you can see um the natural color that i had before was black but i dyed it brown and now i'm going to dye it a different color which i like this color it's like a red color but right now i'm just detangling it and that's the color that i like um use for the unit and right now i'm just filling my sink up with some warm water i'm not a pro at this water coloring thing but i decided to do this just because i was bored bored in the house in a house board you know <laughs> So um, while the water is filling up in the sink, I'm stirring in the dye. And I got this dye from the beauty hair supply store. It was only $1.99. So I was like, huh, yep, I'm finna get it. <laughs> so while the sink is filling up, I added more so that the color can be a little darker, a little richer. And I'm stirring it. And um, while it's stirring, while the water's still running a little, I decided to dip the hair, the unit, inside the water, pressing it down so the color can stick directly to the unit. I want the color to stick. And what I really realized that I totally forgot before I stuck the whole unit in there is that the lace guys i tinted my lace red <laughs> i hated that like i didn't know what to do so i was completely lost on this part um like i said this is my first time doing a watercolor method as you can see you can see a little tint on the lace i'm going to show you guys now i'm rinsing the unit and it's still a little tint of red on it so yeah I'm new to this little watercoloring thing, so I know you're going to say something in the comments like, you should have did this, should have did that. <laughs> As you can see, I'm using my shimmer lights to make the color more vibrant. And I'm filling the sink up again, not with hot water, but I'm using um, like cool water. I don't want it too hot. I don't want it too cold, but I just want it just right. And I'm just making the shimmer light suds up a little while I swish it. And after that, I'll be using my conditioner from Tresemme. Um, I like this conditioner, it smells good and it does a good job as far as making sure the hair is not ashy looking or anything after a color. So it moisturized the unit. And it makes it look really, really nice. And I'm just mixing the conditioner inside the unit. How do you guys like the voiceovers? <laughs> Anyways, um, so now I'm detangling. As I said before, I love this conditioner because the way that it detangles my units. Um, so you see, guys, I want to just point that out. Um, a lot of people say you post at least spray like some holding spray or something on the lace. So 
it doesn't change when you um, dye the unit, which I didn't do. So I'll be using some makeup to cover up my, my lace. And now I'm going to the back of the unit and it was really matted back there. And I know some of you guys wigs in the back, like especially when you sweat. Your hair in the back gets all matted up and tangled and stuff. And uh, yeah, it's really bad. <laughs> So I'm still brushing and detangling the unit in the back. And now look at that. It's just the brush is just going straight through the hair. It's so nice and soft. The curls are popping. The waves are flowing. <laughs> Anyways, after that, um, I don't rinse my unit in hot water. I use um, cool water because I feel like if I use hot water after I dyed it, it would make it feel rough and dry. So I just use cool water to keep the moisturization inside the unit for after using the conditioner. Yes, you guys see those colors popping. You see that red, don't you? It look nice, don't it? <laughs> so I'm still washing out the unit, making sure all the dye is rinsed out. I always try to make sure that the dye is rinsed out so it don't transfer on certain clothing that I wear. And since I rinsed it out, I'm going to use the bio silk to put a little bit of more moisturization into the unit. And the bio silk is really, really good. Like, it's not greasy, it's not heavy. Like, a lot of people use oil sheen. I don't use that. <laughs> Look at the lace, guys. It's still red. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. So I'm going to speed up the video so you guys can see how I saw the unit and how I put um, the curls back into it with certain products and everything else. So I hope you enjoy the video. Bye.